are uh, kind of melting the servers. And I'm proud to be an American, where at least I know I'm free. Time into freedom and is willing to put his money where his, his mouth is. Upset the narrative, upset the narrative control, control imposed on us by our government. Who gave that light to me? Can I gladly stand up? Have uh, Governor DeSantis uh, make this. Uh, We're just trying to, just trying to get it going. The battle of the Republican heavyweights has intensified. The other day, Ron DeSantis made it official. He declared that he's running for president. Now we've all known this for months. We've been speculating. He's been making moves. He went to Israel. He went to Japan. He made all these international speeches. He's, he's trying to create name recognition on the international stage. He also went to Iowa. And he's been making speeches regarding national interests, not just his state issue in Florida. Now, all of this to the ire of Donald Trump. So we're going to have the two biggest names in the Republican Party, Donald Trump and Ron DeSantis, going at it for the Republican nomination to go against the Democrat nominee, maybe Joe Biden or maybe someone else next year. So what I need to get to first is what everybody's been talking about. Everybody's been talking about Ron DeSantis on Twitter. So what Ron DeSantis did last week during his announcement is he got on Twitter space with Elon Musk and things got off to a shaky start. Twitter space had all kinds of bugs, all types of technical issues that delayed Ron DeSantis' announcement for over 25 minutes. So everyone's been talking about this and I think it's really been a distraction. They've been using this as a talking point to avoid the meat of what Ron DeSantis actually talked about. So the man talked for about an hour, talking about all of his policies, things about him as a person, things that he plans on doing for the country. But because of the snafu at the beginning, his rivals and the mainstream media pounced on it and they want to distract with that. So let's take a look at this CNN clip. You think CNN would have learned their lesson, all of the viewers they lost, all of that money, all those layoffs, some of their main primetime anchors, being fired because of lost revenue and lost viewership because of their bias. But here they are again, distracted from the real issue, avoiding the substance of what DeSantis actually talked about. Yeah, so I, listen, I live here in Florida. I think Ron DeSantis has been an incredible governor, great leader, done a great job. But um, I, I don't know what the polit political equivalent for rapid, uh, unscheduled disassembly would be, but I think that's what we just witnessed on this <laughs> launch. I mean, if if Governor DeSantis would have just gone to the ballroom there and 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 done an announcement, he'd have had every major network covering it. It would have been, you know, it, it accomplished a much bigger objective than than doing what he did. And it, it just seems like now no one's going to focus on the actual the the message or what he said. It's going to be all about this 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 bumbled um, launch, which is which is uh, deprives him of a real opportunity. And that's just a flat out lie. What the guy said, he said, "Oh, DeSantis should have." Done this with the mainstream media. He should have went to the ballroom. He should have called all the cameras in and he would have got all his coverage. No, he wouldn't have because the media is biased. When Donald Trump goes on a campaign stump, makes his speeches, you don't see the news coverage of that. You don't see ABC, CNN, NBC. You don't see them covering that. They can if they want to, but they read it up, talk about other stuff because he's a Republican. Same thing with the Senators. They have their minions there. They have their reporters there waiting and hoping to catch something that they can spin into a left-wing talking point but they're not going to show that then he said oh now everybody's going to be distracted nobody's going to talk about what you wanted them to talk about they're going to talk about the twitter snafu no that's a choice these networks make a choice to ignore the substance of the issue and talk about this twitter thing they're saying oh too bad so sad you should have came to us you should have gave us control of it and even then they would have spun it into what they wanted it to be so Ron DeSantis made the right decision, even though Twitter needs to clean that up. Ron DeSantis made the right decision to avoid the mainstream media because there are a bunch of biased leftists. And CNN wasn't on network. This was all over. Nationwide coverage. Nobody talked about the media issue. Everybody wants to talk about Twitter. Everyone wants to say, oh, Elon Musk, because they're still salty that Elon Musk ran a hostile takeover on Twitter and turned it from what they wanted it to be, which was a leftist safe space. And it didn't stop there. You saw at the beginning, I posted this short clip that Trump put on Truth Social mocking Ron DeSantis for the Twitter botch. So even DeSantis' rivals, Republican rivals, are pouncing on this. 
and distracting from the real issue. The two most important things that the sentence addressed in his speech on Twitter space was the leftist mind virus, which is a poison in the Western world, and also Fauciism and the response to the quote unquote pandemic. He compared his views to Trump's views, and I'm going to get to those issues in a separate video because they're extremely important. So we have Trump, we got the Sanders, we have a few other declared candidates also, but these are the biggest two that everyone's paying attention to. So we're going to see over the next couple of months how things progress because right now Trump is winning by miles. If you look at the polls, Trump is up by a landslide. So we're going to see if the Sanders can do what no other Republican was able to do in the past. You saw Ricky Rubio, he said, I'm going to fight fire with fire. If Trump wants to act like this, he wants to poke fun at people, call names and yell, I'm going to do the same thing. Rubio embarrassed himself. Jill Bush, he said, hey, I'm going to be the good guy. I'm going to be a stand-up guy. I'm going to turn out the cheek. I'm going to do all of this. He came in as a front runner. He came in with name recognition. He got annihilated. At the end, he was desperate, so he jumped in the mud with Trump. It backfired on him. So we're going to see if the Senators can actually make real grounds. Ted Cruz can do it either. So can the Senators make grounds against Trump? It's going to be very interesting. It's going to be extremely fun to watch. But I would take either of those guys over Joe Biden. So let me know what you think. Let me know who you plan on voting for. Leave me your thoughts down in the comments below. Thanks for watching.